Greetings everyone. It is January 26 of 23. Hello everyone. This will be the first update on a grow room for Head Start since I have turned my lights on about uh, seven, eight days ago. And I will show you around so you can see the progress of these trees. By the way, yesterday we had a snowstorm, about eight inches of snow maybe. And now this is a, quite a contrast looking at these trees here. I have grouped them in rows, two on this side, two on this side. So they are easy to water when I walk through the rows. And then I can reach two from here. And then on the other side I can also reach and water these two rows. I think in my last video I mentioned that I have uh, eight rows of this full spectrum lights. There's actually nine and they grow, go throughout the length of 18 feet behind me. It is quite bright. I have to wear these uh, protective uh, goggles uh, from UV. And uh, now you can see that these grow bags are contained in these um, garbage bags actually. These are now uh, compactor bags. They're much sturdier and thicker than the ones that I've used uh, last two seasons. One of the drawbacks of grow bags that I find on uh, people talking on YouTube is that they are uh, losing moisture much easier and in, during the summertime and also the water just will flow from the bottom um, and so I was thinking of the ways how to prevent that and from saucers that uh, originally I wanted to use it but uh, they would be more complicated to when moving trees around so then then I decided to use these uh, trash bags and they're working just fine in in a way they act as uh, uh, self-watering uh, containers now if I have add too much water here, then the water will just stay at the bottom and it will be absorbed by the plants from the bottom up. So even better. Also, these bags are great for when I take these trees outside. I can uh, close the bags at the top if a, in a forecast will have a lot of rain. And I do not want my trees to get uh, too much water. In this room I have a dehumidifier. I've been running, I will run it 24 hours right now. The humidity is not as high. It is 51% right now and currently it's almost 68 degrees in here. I keep uh, that window opened a little bit, one in a corner right there. This is to get fresh air every day. Yesterday I have a fertilizer for the first time and I have added mycorrhiza, fungi, liquid solution. Weaker solution of fertilizer, about two tablespoons per five gallon and two and a half mils of uh, mycorrhiza. This will be a plant. I wanted to show this also. Uh, rooted cutting from last year, these young plants, they all had green growth. And I just wanted to show that uh, they look just fine. I had zero damage on all of these trees from uh, uh, cold weather, frost. They are looking just fine. And now I'm going to just walk you around. This corner here has uh, six 10 gallons uh, grow bags, plants, and they are also in these same bags. An 18 gallon bag is feeding just uh, snugly these 10 gallons. What I want to show you now here is just uh, something that's very interesting I find. And it is uh, breba on many of the fruits that I see, especially on a black Madeira type. This first one here is uh, Craven's Craven. Has breba all over. This is Black Madeira KK, also has Breba. In the back, Preto has, even Smith has a little bit. I'm going to just take my goggles for a second so I can see better now on my screen.
and let's take a look at these trees here they are pretty much I would say 50% at least the ones that have Breba rubato again a Craven's Craving you can see now here what I mean by uh, training bonsai style I use the wiring extensively to direct the branches the way I wanted it black Madeira again this tree has many Campanile also I haven't found any kind of um, information on black Madeiras, black Madeira type uh, figs on uh, Breba or Breva. Breva, by the way, is a first crop in some varieties. Madeira Island Black also has it. Italian 258, they are known for good Breba. My friend Dan says so. Here is another Black Madeira KK with a really nice growth of this fruitlets they are much big um, bigger than the others Col de Dama Noir, Col de Dama Blanc, Col de Dama Roja they all have Galicia Negra pretty much all of them in this row uh, Fico Giallo you can see here Anon Pestelier had the biggest leaves so far uh, Sangue also has a lot of uh, leaf leaves growing I'm assuming in a week pretty much all of them will be open and not a Craven's craving same with this row here I'm not gonna show every variety here Panache also has Breba LSU Tiger I'm gonna just read Black Greek you can see the labels uh, and not a Craven's craving very interesting um, what is this? Pantresa also has Breba Saint Rita, interesting tree this is what I call bridging that style of correcting a growth I'm thinking that this Breba may be the result of the extend, extended growing season last year a Yolo Bypass and Petrovacha, this is a variety from Serbia first year that I will have this fruit and I can confirm the variety here is Cree too so I quite, find it quite interesting that many of these trees have uh, Breva and uh, I asked my friend then and he did not uh, experience uh, uh, Breva on his black Madeiras so we'll see what's gonna happen if they're gonna hold or not um, I think this will be everything that I wanted to say for this video uh, what else I can see here I'm gonna I have a piece of paper that just I think this is it uh, by the way lights are right now on uh, 12 hours schedule and uh, I will post another uh, video probably on in a few days if, whenever I see uh, uh, growth on these figs I will show you that Thank you for watching and have a great day.